Hi, and welcome to Bird's Everyday Kitchen. And today on Bird's Everyday Kitchen, we're gonna make some flour tortillas. Now, I already have all my ingredients up here. We're gonna use some flour, of course, water, baking soda, some salt, and I like to use this organic shortening, vegetable shortening that I found. It makes the tortillas a lot creamier and they can spread a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and use four cups of flour. And that's uh, just regular all-purpose flour. You don't uh, have to use anything, you know, special. Just regular flour. That's three cups now, and one more, and that's four. Now, normally I just measure on my hand, but for today, since I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I do, I go ahead and use one full tablespoon of baking soda, and that's to help it rise. And so I kinda like to mix them in there. The salt, I use about the same amount. I like to use the same amount just to give it a good flavor because sometimes, you know, your tortillas can be a little bit bland, but I like to use a little bit of salt to make them taste a lot better. Now, on the shortening, remember that you do have to incorporate it. So it does, you want to have it room temperature so that you're able to incorporate it a little bit better. And I just use a third of a cup of that. Did I say that, a third of a cup? That's what I use. Okay, and then once I've gotten all the ingredients in there, I like to incorporate it and I like to use my hands. A lot of people, you know, want to use mixers and different things like that. I like to do it the old fashioned way, just like my mother did. And in fact, that reminds me of a story once, you know, I, when I was a little girl, I used to walk home from school and every street, I mean, you, you could walk by and you knew what the ladies were cooking for dinner. And that, of course, was a long time ago. <laughs> and now you, you just don't have that. You know, you can walk down a neighborhood and you don't smell anything. But we were, were able to smell, ooh, they're making tortillas, ooh, they're making rice, they're making beans. You could, you could tell what the ladies were making in the afternoon for the, you know, the kids when they came back home from school. And that was the fun part, you know, when I used to walk with my friends, when we used to walk home, we would laugh and say, oh, you know, so-and-so's making rice, so-and-so's making this. And we could guess what they were having for supper because you could smell it. It was wonderful, you know, to have the, those memories. Well, this is how my mother did it. And my mother would incorporate everything with her hands. Okay. And now, you know, that I fully have the shortening incorporated, I want to go ahead and start mixing in the water. And the water, you know, it doesn't have to be really hot. I mean, don't, don't scorch yourself, but you like for it to be hot enough that you can stand it. And the reason for that is because you wanna be able to dissolve that shortening that's in the flour. Now, normally it would just be two cups in here for the four cups of water, but I like to just take it gradually and, and just, you know, mix it in and feel the dough. And see, right now I can feel that there's still a lot of dryness, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now remember, if you add too much water, you know, you'll be able to put in a little bit more flour, but then that'll kind of take everything away from what you're doing because it won't taste the same. Now the salt, you know, and the baking soda is going to be a lot different because you're adding more water. And so if you take a look at it now, it's pretty much incorporated to where it feels just a little sticky, but not too much. Now, if it feels too sticky, just go ahead and get a little bit of flour and incorporate it in your hand and get all that wet stuff off of there. And now that I'm feeling it in the bowl, it feels really good. It feels tight and you just want to clean up all the bowl, get all that flour out of there. And now if you take a look at it, it's pretty much all incorporated to where you've gotten everything out of the bowl. And that's when you've got a good mix. The water is good. Everything is good. Now we're going to get the bowl out of the way. I'm just going to take a little bit of flour 
and I'm gonna put it around like this and now I'm gonna knead it a little bit. And whoever says that housework isn't hard work <laughs> has never done housework. <laughs> but when you do this kind of stuff, boy, you can get some muscles if you do them every day. And see, right now it just feels, feels a little, little tiny bit of sticky, but not too much. And as you can look at it, as you can see now, the dough looks really good. See, it looks really good. And it kind of just pulls back when you push it it pulls back, so that's a really good mix. And you want to keep kneading it for at least a good five minutes. I used to love to watch my mother do this. It was a lot of fun. Now, she wouldn't let us in the kitchen. You couldn't cook with her, because that was her job, and she didn't like anybody in her kitchen. And I, well, I loved her food. She really, really cooked well. And I'll tell you what, if, if she was around now, wow. I regret not getting a lot of her recipes because she was a great cook. Okay, now taking a look at the dough, you can see that it's firm. It pulls back when you touch it and it's really nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back in the bowl because you want it to rest for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Now, if you want to give it 30 minutes, that's fine. I put a little bit of flour in the bowl just to keep it from sticking. And so then I place it back in there and see, so just put it back in there. And here I've got a cloth and I'll just put it over it. And this is our first step. Okay, now we're on our second stage. Our second stage is where we're gonna make what my mother used to call the testales. The testales are just the little round, little wedges that you make, you know, the tortillas out of. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to show you how she did them. If you look in the, in the bowl, I've already got three of them already made. And I'm gonna pull it aside and Take the dough like right in between your thumb and your first finger and then just pinch it and then a little, a little ball will come up. And then you just kind of take your fingers under here and put it in the right at the end of the palm, right under your, your thumb. And then you start twirling it around and pushing it in like that. I don't know if you can see it, what I'm doing, but you just push it around like that and see in the inside, it looks like a little web almost. And then it's like a nice little round testad. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make another one just so that I can show you again. You go ahead and just pinch the dough and pinch it right in between your thumb and your first finger. And that gives you just a really nice little ball. I mean, it's perfect, perfect size every time. And then you just start doing the twirling again. You just twist it around right on the, this little part of your palm right under your thumb and just go around and around and around until you just get that perfect little, little testa. See, isn't that great? I love doing that part. I used to love to watch my mother do it, but she never let me. And so now that I'm, I can do whatever I want to, <laughs> uh, I close my eyes and I, that's how I learned the first time. I closed my eyes and I just kept thinking of her and watching her hands in my mind and I started doing it and wow I ended up getting it right and so I have a really good memory so that helped <laughs> I hope I keep it <laughs> but now that I showed you how to make the testales I know that you can make them yourself you know it really is very simple and you know it's so relaxing it, it feels i mean like a little stress ball you know you just get that stress out if you have any uh and you know that's one of the things i love about cooking is that whatever stress i have and whatever i'm going through i i, I get it out by by cooking because it's kind of like fishing you know for men you know you don't have to really think of anything you just let it all go let it all flow and it just feels good, you know, it feels good. And I love cooking because I love to hear my family, you know, ooh and ah over the stuff that I make. I love that. I ooh and ah over the stuff that I make. <laughs> so now if you take a look, see in our bowl right here, we've got them almost all done. Got just a few more. 
And I'd say just by looking at the dough, I probably have about three or four left. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the best part. We're going to do the cooking part. <laughs> and then the eating part. Oh, that's the best part. You know, the first tortilla you always have, I don't care who you are. If you're a Texan you and you make tortillas at home, mm -mm. the first tortilla, you got to have butter on it. <laughs> and it just comes out really, really good. So now our next step is we're going to have to use our pastry um, roller. I guess that's what you call it. <laughs> Your dough roller. And I have a really nice one. You know, you want, I, I like this one because it doesn't have those little metal shanks right here where it just sounds weird and, and you don't have to worry about them getting rusty or anything. So if you want a good palote, get one that's full wood. Man, you'll love it. All right. So now we're going to stop because we're going to go ahead and get our skillet ready to start cooking. Now, of course, our next step is we're going to round them out, <laughs> get them ready. Okay. What I like to do is I like to take a little bit of flour and I put it on the counter, you know, just to kind of give me, you know, a little bit of grip, you know, because sometimes your tortilla will not flow as well as you would like it to. So I like to use a little bit of flour on my counter. And now what I'm going to do is see how I kind of just pinch it on the corners and then I roll it around and try to bring it out a little bit and see, kind of give me a start. And then I like to take some flour and I like to put it on my roller, my rolling pin, that's what it is. <laughs> and start Start the work. And if you take a look at it, this dough is so good, it's just stretching out perfectly and it just feels really, really good. And a lot of people, you know, that are, I see really don't care if they come out round or anything. But you know, for me, I, I want them to be round. I want them to be pretty. You know, sometimes I'll go to the store, you know, and I'll go buy them at the store and my God, they look horrible. And I, I don't even know how the managers let them get away with it. You know, it, it, they just don't look round and pretty. Uh, now, if you take a look at it, now it's got a good, nice round shape. You know, some people like them very thin. Some people like them a little bit fatter. I like them in between because I don't like for it to look greasy uh, and then so thin where you're just not getting a full, pretty looking tortilla. Now for me, this is probably as big as I like for them to go, okay? And then just stretch it out, stretch it out. And then see, if I pick it up, you can work with it really nicely. It doesn't stick to my fingers or anything like that. And it's ready to go on the comal if that's what you're going to use. A skillet or a, a, you know, a non-stick skillet, whatever you want to use, uh, that's really good. Now I'm going to continue to roll more of these out. And so I just wanted to kind of show you how I do it. Now, when you first start, of course, you know, they're going to look like Texas or, you know, they're going to look like all kinds of shapes, but you know, just keep, keep working at it. And it really is very easy. You know, once you get a whole uh, hang of it, you know, it just is really, really easy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it aside and go ahead and start on my next one. Okay. Now this is our cooking part. Okay. What I normally like to do before I put it on the skillet, I like for it to have just a little bit of moisture. So I take a little paper towel and put a little bit of uh, vegetable oil and I just kind of rub it around the bottom of the skillet to where it looks nice and shiny. I like that. And it keeps it from sticking. Okay. And now you, of course your skillet has to be really hot. And now since this has been sitting just for a little bit, I like to stretch it out again and kind of just move it around in my hands. And then I take it down and I just pull it lightly on the skillet. And then if it's not round, you can still push it around and make it a little bit rounder. And I leave it alone on that one side. And if you take a look at it, you know, the dough will start rising by itself. You'll start getting little bits of bubbles. Now, of course, if it's not hot enough, that's not going to happen really, really quickly. 
Uh, and now if it's too hot, it's gonna stick to the skillet and you're gonna get all these black little pieces on the bottom. And you don't want that because then your skillet is gonna be kind of bad for the rest. So you've gotta kinda clean it off so you don't get all that residue and all those little black little charcoal kind of pieces. Now if you can take a look at the dough now, the dough is already rising and see we're getting these nice little bubbles around. Uh, I can see them in the camera, there we go. And now we're having one right at the top. Now you have to be very careful because if you've never made tortillas before, if you want to hit that little bubble, you better be very careful because that, that little smoke's going to come out and it's going to burn you. And boy, you'll remember, you'll never do it again, I'll tell you that. You'll never do it again. Because <laughs> boy, if you get burned, whoo. Now see, now it's getting really nice and fluffy. You see that big bubble? And I like to turn it around. And I've been making tortillas for a long time, so I know that if I hit it, I, I know which way I'm going, so it's not gonna burn me. But I kind of twirl it around and leave it on there. And now you can see that it's got a real nice brown consistency around it. It looks really nice and ooh, I can't wait for the butter to get the first one in there. <laughs> I normally wait till the end, but I don't know. I think I might just get the first one. <laughs> it just looks really beautiful. And I love when they come out so nice. You just feel so proud and everything. I remember the first time I made them, I didn't do a very good job. But now, I mean, I'm, I've been, I'm a veteran. I've been doing them for a long time. Uh, my husband loves tortillas, fresh tortillas, and that's why I make them because he, he really loves them. And I love them too, you know, I can't, I can't deny that. <laughs> you know, I really enjoy them. And now taking a look at this, of course, I already have the butter already ready, room temperature. And so all I need now is a little knife. And you know what, I forgot that. So let me see if I can stretch myself over here and get a knife and get a little butter knife. And now this tortilla, of course, is ready to roll. It's perfect, perfectly. The heat was perfect. Everything was nice. So now all I want to do is just put it on a paper towel just like this, because since this is the first one, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of butter on it. And let's see if we can see it over here on this counter, right over here. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of butter and I'm going to just smear it all over. See how nice it looks. Ooh, my goodness. Yikes, yikes, yikes. This reminds me of when I was a little girl and I couldn't wait for the first one to come out, but of course my mother, she wouldn't give us any until the end. But now, you know, I'm a grown up and I can do, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take a big bite of the first one at the end. It's gonna be hot, so you gotta be careful. Mmm. Oh my God, tastes wonderful. You're gonna love it. Well, I hope you like this video. And I hope you like watching me make these tortillas. Now, if there's anything else you'd like for me to make or show you what I make, I would love to show you all. Um, but believe it or not, I know this video has been a little amateurish because this is my first video on YouTube and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm hoping to make so many more. So if you're interested in following me, please subscribe. I would really enjoy that. I mean, it would make me feel really good because um, I just decided to do this off the whim and I thought, why not? I cook every day, so I might as well film it. So thank you all for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I think I'm gonna take another bite. Thanks, I'll see you next time. Bye.